Three years ago, little Josh Tolbo faced a life full of physical obstacles. His parents, McKay and Linda Tolbo, knew before his birth that he had myelomeningocele, the severest form of a birth defect known as spina bifida. Linda got the news first from her obstetrician. She sat there with me and she told me that he had what's called spina bifida, bilateral club feet, and hydrocephalus. The condition is typically diagnosed during pregnancy, either by ultrasound or some other form of advanced testing. Eight days later, after birth, doctors placed a shunt in his head to relieve the fluid. So far, Josh has had seven surgeries on his back and spine. Green. Green. Josh is now three years old and gets around in a red walker. His mother says another mother of a spina bifida child advised her to treat Josh the same way she treats his older brother, Gavin. We, we don't help him in any way unless he really needs it, and we treat him like anybody else. Fetal surgery to repair birth defects has been performed for at least 30 years, but researchers wondered whether the prenatal procedure really could improve the outcome for those babies, and whether the risks for the baby and mother were worth overcoming. The scientists now say a randomized clinical trial of 183 pregnant women carrying spina bifida babies proved to be so positive that the study was stopped after two phases. The researchers studied results at one year of age after the prenatal surgery. Fewer babies undergoing surgery in the womb had need for a shunt, compared to those who waited for surgery after birth. At 30 months, there was improvement in mental development and motor function. Dr. Katherine Spong of the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development says more of the children in the prenatal study could walk without braces or orthotics than those who underwent surgery after birth. In the prenatal surgery group, 40% of the babies were able to walk independently compared to only about 21% in the postnatal surgery group. Dr. Spong says at least one-third of the prenatal surgical patients no longer had what's called hindbrain herniation, in which the base of the brain is pulled into the spinal cord. You were able to replace the spinal cord and allow a more normal development of the baby's brain. While these conclusions sound so optimistic, the doctors say there still are important issues to consider, especially since a majority of these babies were born prematurely. There are a number of complications associated with preterm delivery, respiratory distress, where the baby has to have difficulty breathing, they need to be intubated, a number of complications, and certainly you saw those in these preterm babies. When Linda Tolbo was carrying Josh, she and her husband turned down the chance to have surgery done while he was in the womb. They said they were more concerned about the risk of premature birth and opted instead for repairs to be made after delivery. Would she have changed her mind knowing what she knows now? Um, if I would have known that, I probably would have done something and said, well, you know, let's do it. Let's just see what happens with him. Dr. Spong says she does not question parents' reluctance to have the surgery done before birth. Before it is seriously considered, she says, make sure the doctors and hospital have a lot of expertise in caring for the baby and the mother. Melinda Smith, VOA News.